All right, welcome everybody. Um, so as of today, April 2nd, 2019, we're having issues with our SIM 13. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple things. I'm also gonna show you the pretty much only working uh, thing that's going on right now is the old RSIM 12 uh, due to what they blocked out in the RSIM 13. Now currently you see this one's running AT&T. Um, this is an AT&T uh, locked phone. Uh, bill was not paid kind of thing. And so by taking the AT&T SIM card out, that is a prepaid, works the same way. Um, I'm simply just going to insert the RSIM 13. Now, I have not pre-programmed this one to just fire and work. Um, instead, I have some other ICCID programmed into it at the moment. And so I'm going to I'm going to show you the way that you know RSIM 13 still does work. It's just not allowing anything to be used after it. So I mean, going from the steps that we normally used to take. Um, a lot of people are seeing this activation error start popping up. Activation error simply means that you need to uh, update your software to 12.2. Once you're updated to 12.2, then you can go ahead and use the RSIM 13. But again, like I said, the RSIM 13 is not going to do anything. So if you recently bought an RSIM 13 uh, on eBay from a company, just, you know, they, they have to know at this point. And if they don't, they're just, they just don't care. But let them know it's not working. Um, it no longer works that way and then reference them to this video if you'd like uh, For a pointer because yeah, they um, they got old. They don't got the new news yet apparently So what I'm doing here is I'm programming this to the most up-to-date ICC ID and Then going from there And you'll see again it works. It's just not afterwards gonna keep doing anything I'm also in this video gonna show you how to do the uh, RSIM 12 in order to be able to do those more efficiently as well. So uh, you can use RSIM 12. The drawback I will tell you right now with RSIM 12 that we, we had back in the day and that we're still having now is the fact that RSIM 12 does not work in the XR, XS, or the XS Max phones because they don't load the same way. The SIM card doesn't load the same way with the little chip that's supposed to be placed under it. Uh, since they kind of reverse that pattern on that phone, you can't put a chip underneath the SIM card on the prongs. You you would have to essentially get a whole different outlay on the chip, and it's just not possible. We just don't we just don't get that lucky, do we? So who knows? They might have all sorts of different stuff coming up here before too too long in lieu of what's going on here today. And then we can go from there. So this is what we're looking at right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Trying to do this as quick as I possibly can so we can get to how you do it. If you need quick information on how to do an RSIM 12 uh, SIM chip and SIM card, uh, please refer to my description. It has all that information. Now, this is the RSIM 13 working, obviously still getting through. This is on 12.2 already updated to the iOS. Um, it's You'll notice this T-Mobile SIM card's in a gold uh, tray. The only reason I'm doing that is to kind of keep my idea on what's... What's what? Now, when you put the T-Mobile in, you're going to notice it do, it goes right into the activation setup. So that's the variable they changed. No matter what happens, if something happens to the ICC ID editing or anything, it's going to automatically kick out into activation screen after that with whatever SIM card's placed in it. I can put an AT&T card in it right after we do an RSIM 13, this being an AT&T locked phone, and it'll still kick me to the activation screen. So that's that's clearly what they've programmed over top of the RSIM 13. Now, in order to do an RSIM 12, this RSIM 12 is already programmed. I will show you the one step with it. Um, the RSIM 12 is just simply this little chip piece. And then, of course, the tray. It has a little fin on the bottom. If it wants to focus, that'll be nice. Thank you. Um, and then you just make sure that little fin is tucked underneath uh, the one area there. So that way, then, when you have this done, it looks like that on the bottom side. It looks like this on the front. And then you just simply place the SIM card that you're going to use. Uh, you do have to do this in a fashion of doing it SIM card first. You can't just, um, yeah, you kind of can program it, you know, off whim, off of one other SIM card. Uh, but it always worked best. The crummy part is you're going to have to buy one of these chips for every single device you sell like us. Like we're, we're a reselling company. Um, so you have to sell it that same way. You have to put it out. Um, and I didn't want to do that yet. I wanted to show you what this looks like when you have to program the ICC on this. Now, this ICC ID has already been programmed, 
So I'm not obviously going to have to program it, but I did want to show you guys this anyway so you see what this menu looks like. RSIM 12 does this instead. Don't hit any of this craziness here. There's no point to it. Um, I am going to play with it a little bit maybe later to maybe see about getting Verizon to work on these. But that's the other thing I'm running into a problem with is I can't get Verizon to work on anything that's done with the RSIM 12 SIM chip. Uh, even though it has the CDMA technology built into the phone, even though Verizon claims they don't use CDMA still, but whatever, uh, it does still need more tweaking. So, of course, this is where you go. You'd hit edit ICD, ICC ID right there, and that's where you would put it in. Now, since I've already done this, I just simply have to hit continue. You see up in the top left, it's already pulling the T-Mobile uh, service. Um, and boom, I'm through. So that chip does have to remain with the SIM card. If I were to take that chip out right now, it's it's going to fail. This phone's going to come back with a SIM not supported kind of thing. And, and we're going to be right back to square one again trying to figure this out. With that SIM chip in it right at this moment, that's that's where this is still working because you're not pulling that chip out. There's nothing telling the phone it has to then go back to the activation. Um, we are seeing another thing where when you do do this RSIM 12 chip unlock successfully just now like I did um, for the first time on that RSIM 12 it's probably going to tell you to go plug it into iTunes at that point just go plug it into iTunes and and it's going to do god it's going to do one of the old school unlocks like it used to do back in the day where you had to the only way it would unlock is if you plugged it into iTunes it never did it over the air um, whereas now it just does it over Wi-Fi so with that in mind you'll still have to do that for the first programming of the RSIM 12 that you ever get now, can you take the RSIM 12 out and put in another device? Yes. You might just have to program it again at that time to whatever the ICC ID is of that day. Um, I, I just got lucky and happened to have the RSIM 12 still sitting here from before the RSIM 13 popped out. So lucky me, I, I can just move right into one from the other. Um, and again, you're not going to be able to use this in an XR, XS, or an XS Max. Uh, so far, I've not been able to get Verizon to really work on any of these uh CDMA type devices and let me show you what I mean the easiest way to check to see if your device has CDMA capabilities is you just simply go to your settings and if you have this right down here in MEID MEID is synonymous to the CDMA technologies that you know a, a company like Verizon or Sprint or Boost would have needed um, that does not necessarily always mean an AT&T device would always work with those so it could just be this device doesn't have a properly working modem. If the modem inside of it doesn't know to tell it, hey, you need to be able to switch from one technology of GSM to CDMA, the CDMA modem will say is what's bad and just was never replaced or checked back when this was a, a phone that could have used it. Um, being the fact that this model is almost five years old this year, or will be later five years old this year, um, the drawback is you're going to run into that left and right. So either way. Now that you see that it works, at least now you can do everything you need to do. Uh, I believe LTE services are going to work as well, so that way then you can have your wonderful, yep, thanks. Uh, yeah, see, LTE's working and all that. So everything works again. It's just, it's the same thing. You just, you had to con the system. So because, the, you know, Apple was smart and actually did patch the bug, you know, the, the hack, as I like to call it in my, my stores, um, same kind of scenario. You you have to be just smarter than the the fix that they did. And so, unluckily, we're all taking a step backwards from the nice time that we got to enjoy with our Sim 13. And, you know, I told you so. <laughs> and months ago when I started this video, the first video for our Sim 13, I said that this was going to be fast, uh, that we were going to be going through this and, you know, use as much as you can because it's not going to last very long. And, you know, sadly enough, I was right. Um, sucks that I was right. It's nice that I'm right. But now, you know, uh, check my description. It's always going to have the updated ICC ID uh, numbers. Do not listen to my video ICC ID, obviously, after the first week. Um, but, yeah, just keep checking back. Sadly enough, you guys got to uh, throw back your RSIM 13s and go back to RSIM 12s. And we just kind of got to be a bit more primitive again. But... Uh, hopefully this is an easy video that I can get uploaded and help you guys out with, um, again. So if you need anything, please, please make sure to comment. Definitely make sure to like, and subscribe, uh, cause I'm trying to work really hard for you guys, uh, making sure that this stuff is kind of up to date and keeping you posted when changes like this happen. Um, it is the 2nd of April that I'm posting this. So here's the problem on the 2nd of April and I'm posting something about it today. Just took me like take 900. So, uh, either way. Thanks, guys, and take care.